Hey Virgos, so this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Cancer for the month of May. Let's get it. King of Swords in Reverse, Five of Swords to the Page of Pentacles here, Virgos. It looks like your Cancer or you guys for that matter, Virgos, does whatever it is that they have to do for themselves. Very selfish, very arrogant type of energy here for sure. They get cold and detached. They do whatever it is that they want to do for themselves. They don't care about anyone else's feelings except for themselves. They sneak off all the time, Virgos. They come back whenever it is that they want to come back. It's like this person feels that they they have the upper hand in some sort of way here. But I, I'll tell you very much, Virgos, that they they don't. They absolutely don't. They're very manipulative here. And they are going to want to come back and balance up the scales and, and spoil you and gift you and everything like that, Virgos. So do expect a message coming in from them telling you and explaining to you how they want to make the relationship work because they miss you very much with the six of cups you guys were really really loyal to this person but the thing is that they were very arrogant with the with the star card in reverse and you guys are all knowing here virgos with the high priestess and you guys are not going to say anything but you are staying silent and because you guys are the high priestess it's like you guys already know this person's a player a trickster they do whatever it is that they want to do and you guys are going to be speaking up about it and you guys honestly feel like well if you were to take this person back is it a risk for you guys? Is it a dangerous risk for you guys to take this person back and bring them back into your energy zone? They are very much so embarrassed here, Virgos, with the with the Seven of Swords in reverse. And you guys may end up actually unblocking them, but they are going to be coming back towards you. This is a person who gets very jealous very immediately, or this is you guys who gets very jealous uh, right away, Virgos. But nonetheless, if they were to unblock you or vice versa... I don't see you guys communicating with them because you guys are coming in as a Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there, Virgos, right? And since the, since, since, since the Pentacle, that's your energy. So I don't know if you guys are going to end up talking to this person and you guys are going to put an end to it. And But this person's hoping that you're going to take them back. But when they come back towards you, they're still going to be immature with the way that they're going to communicate with you and still be evil and mean and all that shit, Virgos. And uh, it's not something that you want. And that's why you guys feel like it's a risk. To take this person back, to be honest with you. At the bottom of the deck, I got the Ten of Swords. They hurt you, betrayed you really badly, Virgos. Because they act cold and detached, maybe even verbally abusive at certain times. And then talk shit about you and, and feel like they can do whatever it is. It, it hurts. It, it hurts really badly, Virgos. Two of Wands, you're going to have to make a decision on which area you're going to want to go into. I mean, when I say it hurt, it hurt badly, Virgos. Three of Swords. I was able to feel that before the Three of Swords popped up. But nonetheless, I'm so sorry for your pain, sweethearts. But you guys are going to have to make a decision. What do you choose, Virgos? Are you guys going to choose to continue to be hurt by someone who doesn't appreciate you? Or are you guys going to finally choose yourselves and go find your own happiness? Now you guys are going to become defensive and you guys are going to end up maybe even fighting with this person. But you guys may have a lot of love with this person though too. And you guys feel like there's just a lot of problems, a lot of competition. Always putting you in three-party situations, dealing with other women, other men, and fighting with you about it. And, and they leave you blindfolded, not knowing what to do, Virgos, but they're going to want to come back in. This person will only come back in, Virgos, to have sex with you and then leave again, to be honest with you. But you guys are hoping that you guys have better, bigger, better, bigger and better things waiting for you because you guys are coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. All right? So you guys might end up trying to find a way to maybe purchase another home. If you guys are living with this person, you guys are going to sneak off, Virgos. And then try and get your money right so that way you guys can get a home for yourself so that you don't have to be living with this person anymore as well. Uh, good for you guys, but just be patient with yourselves. It takes time, but it looks like you guys are going to go from the Two of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. If you guys are having struggles uh, with money, you guys are going to immediately get as much money as you need. Maybe a loan is going to be coming in for you guys to help you guys out to get to where it is that you guys need to be. And then once that happens, you guys can move on with your life, Six of Swords energy, and keep it moving. But then they're going to come back towards you again, telling you how much they love you. And, and I want you guys to know that this person is just going to keep you stuck with a lot of confusion because they're toxic as hell. Drugs, alcohol, toxic behavior, mental abuse, emotional abuse here as well. And they're going to tell you, well, here, I have a lot of money for you. I have, a, I have a huge gift that I want to offer you because they know that that's probably one way that they can get you back. But this is a, I feel like, honestly, it's not here, but I'm getting the energy while I'm talking, and this is like a uh, covert narcissist, okay, at its finest. It, they think money and gifts is going to keep you where it is that they want you, but they little do they know that you guys are already getting your shit together with the Queen of Pentacles to the to the, to the Temperance card here, Virgo. And they're going to tell you, no, they're going to be like, no, I'll, I want to have a family with you. I want to I wanna be with you, marry you. I want to be in a relationship with you, you know what I mean? But you're just going to be like, no. You don't do nothing for me except great, great burden for me. I'm done with this. I, I gotta go. I have. I don't have time. I have to leave. Queen of Cups. 
I'm going to focus on myself and take care of myself. And you guys are going to finally be back in your power again. You're going to leave them out in the cold because you're tired of the shit. And you're going to stay silent on the Virgos. And you're going to continue to start investing in yourselves. And when they see that you're taking care of yourself, they're going to come rushing back towards you again. And they're going to be like, damn, how the hell did the Virgos do all this? How the hell do they manifest the things that they want? And you guys are going to start trying to control everything, keeping your heart space closed, not expressing anything. But you guys are going to be coming in with a lot of abundance coming towards you. And you guys are going to start traveling again, taking care of yourselves. Because you guys are going to only focus on yourselves and on your money. And this person is going to be sad because they know that they missed out on you. And they're going to be stressed out about you as well. And they're going to still try and communicate here with you. But you guys are going to be bossing up just now. And this person is going to be suffering, going through a lot of darkness. Just take the energy as it resonates, Virgo. So if you have to flip it, do that as well. All right. Somebody might be like watching you, stalking you here too, Virgos, but it's not looking good as well. They're going to be stressed out knowing that you ended up leaving the relationship or the marriage for that matter. Um, but they are going to want to come back towards you and talk to you again, Virgos. But you guys are just already in your power. You guys are so beautiful and so handsome. You guys are focusing on yourselves. They are going to want to come back and have reconciliation here with you and put work into the relationship, Virgos. But you guys are just going to be like, I remember what you did in the past. I don't have time for that shit. I got to go. Especially if somebody here put you in a three-party situation. Um, you guys are just like, no. Also, Virgos, you guys might be standing in your power coming with the Queen of Wands to the Justice card there. You guys are starting to look good, you look good, you smell good, you look fly. While you guys have separated from this person, you guys are starting to get your 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 sexiness back and, and, and everything like that. So you guys are looking good, Virgos, but they are going to apologize to you again. And they're not going to get nothing but karma from you and from the world and the universe. And they're not going to have nothing except tower moment after tower moment. Uh, and they think that if they apologize to you, everything's going to go in their favor, but it's not. It's just going to be a disaster for them, and they're going to end up losing because they did bad on you. So that doesn't mean that you have to tolerate it. It just means that you're choosing yourself now and letting them go. Thanks, cuties. Bye.